How's it everybody? This is Cody from Mountain Stew and today we're going to be talking a little bit about some of the hip flasks that I've used on my camping trips. Um, I have a variety here. We're going to talk about some of the pros and the cons of different ones and then I'm going to tell you why this one is my favorite. So first off let's start with the Nalgene 10 ounce kind of ultralight hip flask. So uh, it's made of a uh, Nalgene plastic, so it's not going to leach any kind of chemicals or anything into your whiskey or your rum or whatever you're packing with you. Um, it comes with this handy dandy useless plastic sleeve. Um, it has a little, I guess, shot glass cap, which again, both of these things are pretty useless and dead weight, so I never take them with me. Um, <clears throat> now, in terms of the most ultra light flask you can get, I think this is the one right here. Um, carries 10, almost 11, 12 ounces of alcohol in here, weighs next to nothing. Um, if I am really trying to cut down the weight of my pack, I'll usually take this guy here. Uh, pretty nondescript as well. So, you know, clearly I'd say if weight is your main concern, this is the way to go. Um, now, here I have another type of Nalgene. So this is a eight ounce, um, it's more of like the sciencey Nalgene. So it's a little bit different form factor here. You can see I have a sticker from Foundation Cigars on here, one of my uh, favorite cigar brands. Um, so real, real similar, pretty lightweight, um, pretty durable in the field. I'd say this one is a little more durable than this guy here. Um, so another solid option if you just want something basic, lightweight, that's gonna do the job. Um, I'd recommend a Nalgene flask of whatever type you want. This particular flask, you know, it comes in all kinds of different sizes. So I use these Nalgene containers for things like cooking oil, um, some of my sauces that I bring along to put in my stews. So this is the eight ounce Nalgene. So I have a four ounce, I have a two ounce, I have a one ounce. Um, these are really durable and they come in a variety of sizes, so always a good choice. Um, so <laughs> this guy here, uh, Drink Like a Fish. This is a four ounce stainless steel fish flask. Um, kind of heavy. Um, honestly, I haven't used it in the field because it's, it's so heavy. I got it because, you know, in an effort to reduce my alcohol consumption, um, it's a four ounce flask, so, and it's a fish. Um, so these kind of flasks, um, you know, you can find all kind of funny shaped, interesting flasks. They're fun, um, but unless you have a particular reason for carrying a little bit of extra weight, <laughs> Like if you wanted to make a funny video of you drinking out of a fish flask in the mountains, then, you know, I can't necessarily recommend something like this for taking into the back country. It's good fun though. Um, so here we have kind of the standard um, sort of classic hip flask, um, all kind of different brands, all kind of different makes and models. This is actually one of the first hip flasks that I ever had. Um, you know, I really like hip flasks. I kind of collect them. Um, I have a small collection actually of like vintage glass flasks from the 70s from Sweden that are, you know, painted with sort of funny pictures on them. I, that's a different video, but you know, I really enjoy flasks. Um, I took this flask with me many times. Um, it's on the heavy side. 
it's not extremely durable. It'll dent if you bang it against something. Um, if it's not really closed good, it'll leak. So, you know, if you are just kind of starting out and you're kind of researching what flasks you want to take into the mountains, something like this is really good. Um, if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of weight and a little bit of durability for the pleasure of drinking out of a hip flask like this, you know, it's not all just about cutting the weight, you know, this flask is really good. It does a great job, but the enjoyment of drinking out of a flask, you know, you're going to get a little bit more enjoyment if you're drinking out of something like this than if you're just drinking out of something like this. So, you know, in the recommendations of gear, you know, there's all, you know, there's never one perfect piece of gear. It always depends on what you want out of the experience and what you're willing to sacrifice in order to get it. Um, so almost done, but this here is my wine flask. Um, it's a platypus 800 mil flask. Um, I use it for packing wine, um, both for drinking and for cooking. So obviously this flask, you know, it serves a different purpose than these kind of flasks. So, you know, if you want to take a whole bottle of wine into a bush or into the mountains, <laughs> this is the way to go, way to do it. Uh, so far, pretty durable. I've used it a few times. Hasn't punctured, hasn't leaked. So I can, I can recommend this. Um, now, this flask here. This is the Stanley uh, Classic Wide Mouth Flask. Um, I actually got this flask on eBay. So it has this little pause up kind of decal here. I don't really know what it's from. Um, now the Stanley flask, normally it comes with a little plastic thing that kind of keeps the, the lid on. Uh, it broke off on mine and frankly I much prefer it without that little plastic thing. Um, this flask has served me very well on all of my trips, on all of the times that I've used it. Um, it, it is a good balance between something that I find really enjoyable to drink out of as well as something that is pretty light and really durable. Um, I slapped on this sticker from one of my, um, one of my favorite artists, um, Tegan White. Um, it's like a decaying bird on there, but you know, it takes stickers really well super durable and you know honestly this is my favorite flask out of all of these flasks you know as someone who enjoys drinking out of a hip flask you know i really really like this one just the way that it feels in your hand you know it has a pretty good weight when it's full um some of you might be asking, well, why do you need to take so much alcohol into the, you know, why do you need eight to 10 ounces of whiskey in the mountains or in the back country? <laughs> this is going to be the most important thing that you take up there because no matter how miserable it gets, no matter how much your tent ends up leaking, it starts to thunderstorm, things go wrong, your stake breaks, your poles break, you can be completely, completely miserable up there, but as long as you got a little bit of whiskey in your flask, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna feel all right. And granted, you know, the, the kinds of mountain hiking and camping that I'm doing, I'm only doing one or two days max. So I'm not going out for week long trips into the backcountry. That's a completely different um, style of hiking, style of camping. So, you know, for these single night overnighters that I'm doing that I'm just, you know, I'm going out to the mountains, trying to have a good time. Um, this is my number one recommendation, the uh, Stanley Classic Wide Mouth Flask. Now, there's a few other flasks out there that I have 
been interested in, but haven't been able to try. Um, I've always wanted to try the Snow Peak Titanium Flask, um, but it's a little bit, um, it's not a necessary thing for me to purchase right now. So if anybody wants to send me that flask, I can review it, uh, take it out into the mountains, see how it does. But there's the Snow Peak Titanium Flask that I'd really like to try. There's a few other models of Stanley flasks that I would like to try. Um, they're all kind of similar, but, you know, variety is the spice of life. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, again, I out of all of these flasks, if you're taking wine, I recommend a bag flask like this. If saving weight is your primary concern, I recommend this Nalgene 10 ounce flask here. Um, but you know, if you really enjoy the aspect of drinking out of a flask and you're willing to take a little bit more weight, then I'd say this guy is the way to go. So yeah, if you've used any of these and you have any um, comments or thoughts or anything, drop a comment down below and shoots. <laughs>